From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Valerie Amber. Vegas Hello. is sweet. Good morning, Good sweetheart. morning. Good morning, Rick. <laughs> Vegas is sweet. Hi there. You know, we were talking just yesterday about appropriate and inappropriate. This whole thing with, you know, kind of go, segueing from John Edwards and his problems and then going segueing from that to here locally where we had a local coach with a although consensual but due to age and so on inappropriate behavior with a student which by the way just for the record on this i'm gonna get my two cents in before you guys jump all over it <laughs> is that, before you get out chatted yeah, right? yeah, well, you know, that doesn't happen it is always inappropriate for a teacher and a student from my perspective, of course, that's not yours, so I'll let you guys get to it. <laughs> I agreed with that, though. It, so both parties admitted that they had the relationship, correct? Correct. So we know that there was a relationship there. I, I think the adult should have known better. Well, there was there was a couple different factors that I found particularly interesting. Number one was that the uh, there were emails, there were texts, that were going back and forth. Um, actually. The police, Metro Police, I'm sorry, the school district police, excuse me, there's a difference. The school district police said that really it was the young lady's father who was in tune to what was going on because of the number of phone calls this coach mm. was making to the house and the length of their phone calls. Frequency and length got a set a trigger off in his mind. He's a father. He knows what's up. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And well, men know men. Right. <laughs> exactly. He knew. Right. They know what they're on. thinking. Yes. No, there's no other men here. Uh, <laughs> no. Seriously, what just makes me uncomfortable is even without being a teacher, a man so much older than a young woman. Right. Obviously, you know, at 17, your hormones are everywhere. So obviously, exactly. you're going to be, you know, attracted. But he. If it really was something, he could have waited another year. You know what I mean? Love has no limit. Men, if it was men really don't love. wait. <laughs> well, then <laughs> he should have sought out somebody who was of age. I, I think yeah, yeah, he's that's an emotional true. maturity level. No, that's and true. He, at 17, I'm, you know, some people really do have it, but at, at 40, he maybe he's not emotionally mature, and so you know, yeah, he thought it was okay. But I agree. I th you, well, again, I learn from somebody else's mistakes. It's not okay. She's 17. You okay, should have kind of known. How does this compare right. to a few years ago, the very famous case that took place in Florida? A female <laughs> teacher who had a relationship with a male student. She ended up going to jail for some period of time. They remained in communication. Right. When she was released from prison, then it was. Then it turned out they got together. Okay. Was okay. he of age at this point? No, that's the reason why she went to prison. No, at all. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, when, yeah, okay. yeah, when she got out. Well, yeah, I, so, you know, there's, there's that, I'm not saying that should be the model, but right. I'm going, it is interesting. The dynamic sometimes is interesting. Even in the way that the judicial system will treat men to women and women, and when it's the other way around, when the, when the teacher is a female right. and the student is a male. I think there's an unfortunate disconnect where it's like oh but she's a woman no he's she's still underage and he's a pervert right <laughs> right, <laughs> still, uh, right. Yeah. no no no, no yeah. he's still underage because obviously when you pick and choose and make it inconsistent there's lots of um loopholes that come in now 18 right. 18 boy or girl again she as the teacher and the emotionally mature one she could have waited till he graduated from high school that would have been right. a mature thing to do the and smart thing it. to do, smart <laughs> right? The legal thing to do, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it just it never ceases to amaze me as to why, how people will take advantage of their positions. Right. While at the same time, it also never ceases to amaze me as to how all of these new rules and guidelines on developing relationships with people is, have also changed. Right. So we're going to get ready to take a break, and we'll come back and talk about that a little bit, because I think the lines have gotten fuzzy. I know I've gotten confused as confused can be. I'm just glad I'm in the situation I'm in, because I don't have to think about it anymore. Every it makes, man's excuse. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense as to why um, online dating has gone up, because at least, okay, I can't know them. <laughs> I can hit delete. Right. <laughs> we're going to take a short break. Don't you hit delete. Yeah. We'll be back in just a few <laughs> moments. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, that's true. Um, I didn't know they got back together. That uh, it yeah. was the, um, yeah. the young boy, didn't they have a child together or something? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. So we can bring me